Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, and today, come and cook with Auntie Paulette. Today we'll be cooking meatloaf, mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, and some collard greens. So, I already shucked the corn last night, fresh corn. It's on the pot, in the pan. And collard greens, I washed them and put a turkey butt in and boiled them all night long. Now, we'll be putting together the meatloaf and I will show you step by step the ingredients. Thank you for watching Auntie Paulette. Remember, like, share, subscribe. What I say? Like, share, and push that button. Cha ching ching ching. We'll be back with more of Cooking with Auntie Paulette. Okay, back with Cooking with Auntie Paulette. You will hear noise in the background. I have my family over here, so you'll hear little kids. But today we're going to make a meatloaf. And I tried to have everything in front of me. So give me a minute because I forgot to bell pepper and onion. I already cut them up last night. Look at that jar. Okay. So, I got about, I had a big, 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 long roll of ground beef this long. So I had cut it into sections and put it in my freezer. So I think this is about, I would say this is about, eight pounds of ground beef that I'm making my meatloaf with. And I'm going to season it. And I tell y'all every time I make a video, I, any beef that I make, if it's a roast, ground beef, whatever, I love to put oxtail seasoning in it. It makes it taste so good. So I'll be using oxtail seasoning, black pepper, garlic powder, Adobe all-purpose, onion powder, bread crumbs. I told you I don't really use salts because I think the adobe got some salt in it. I don't like my food real salty. I like it seasoned. And I am going to put some fresh garlic cloves in here too. Uh, well, I won't say the garlic cloves because I don't feel like chopping garlic. But I got some garlic in a jar. Uh, now I should have had that out too. I'm always off schedule. Okay, everybody. I finally got everything. So, I'm going to add some, oh, it's called minced garlic. Minced garlic. So, we're going to start seasoning. I don't measure, guys, so you have to measure to your taste. I just told you all the seasonings I use, and I just pour it because I kind of, by I know how much to pour so use the seasons as you want it to taste. Mine will be flavorful, but not salty. So here's the oxtail seasoning. And we're going to do black pepper. If I can get it open. Okay, the black pepper. We're going to do garlic powder. And 
we're gonna do the adobe. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're gonna do the onion powder. And we'll do the minced garlic. I'll put a whole spoonful of it. One spoon of the minced garlic. I do measure that because you don't want it to be too garlicky. Now, since this is about eight ounces of ground beef, I'm going to use four eggs. Crack four eggs. Two. Three. And four. Okay. We got everything in there. I chopped up onion and bell pepper. I used a whole onion and a whole bell pepper. I diced them up. I'll get the camera closer so you can see. I already had everything prepared for this video. So, you will see the bell pepper, onion, egg, adobe, garlic powder, onion powder, minced garlic, breadcrumbs, and black pepper. That is your ingredients, and I will put the um, the ingredients in the description box at the end of the video. But I ask you guys to keep watching, cooking with Auntie Paula, and what do you got to do? What, what? Like, share, and most of all, what? Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Subscribe! Alright guys, we'll be back. I'm going to mix this up. Put it in the pan, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, back with cooking with Auntie Paulette. I didn't add the breadcrumbs, so I need to put them in. Your breadcrumbs, you'll monitor how much you're putting in there by how it mixes. How it mixes, because you want it to be not not slimy it's gonna be consistent so we got everything together now you're gonna mix it together with your hands that's the best way to mix a meatloaf I really needed a bigger bowl <laughs> this bowl is little I see people wear gloves with their when they making their YouTube videos. But I keep my fingernails short. I never have long nails. And I keep my hands washed and sanitized all the time. Cuz I'm an older person. I don't want to catch COVID. I already got asthma and breathing problems. So I'm a very clean cook. <sighs> Smells good. Okay. It should be sticking together better than this, so I'm going to use some more breadcrumbs. So, for this meatloaf, I use about a half a can of these breadcrumbs. I 
Now we'll just keep mixing it. And then I'll get it ready for the pan that I'm going to put it in. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Like, share, subscribe. Guys, back with cooking with Auntie Paulette. I formed and shaped the meatloaf the way I want it. You can either put, um, all meatloafs have some kind of sauce on top. I use ketchup. You can use tomato sauce or ketchup. Put it in the middle. And we'll bake this for two hours. And we'll be back to show how our meatloaf turned out. Guys, thank you so much for who watched me. Thank you if you comment on my videos. I watch a lot of other people's cooking too. Like, share, subscribe, and keep watching and supporting Looking for Aunt Cooking with Auntie Paulette. Alright guys, don't forget, cha-ching, cha-ching. What does that mean? Push that button, subscribe. Hey everybody, thank you for coming back cooking on Auntie Paula. So now I'm going to make my slammy gravy. I put a little cooking oil in the bottom of this pan. And I got some onions. I'm going to let them get real brown. Put a little flour. A little browning. I'm going to use a little flour and a little brownie and make us a gravy. Stir the flour inside of there. So it get brown. Get some hot water. You get some boiling hot water. And stir it. Ooh. Oh. Keep stirring, add more water so your gravy ain't so thick. We got all that flour stirred up. Put a little browning in. Just pour a little, like like that much. I'm gonna add some pepper. Pepper. Some onion powder. Black pepper. And 
And I'm going to use minced garlic. A fork pull. Stir it up in there. Now you got your nice brown gravy. In the pot. So we got the gravy made. We got the collard greens in turkey butts. And we got good old corn on the cob. And I'm going to take the meat loaf out and show you. So we'll be back. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. I cook it with Auntie Pumai. So the meat loaf is done. We're nice, Mina. The meat loaf is done. All the way through. So we got the meat loaf done. And I'm going to tell you, I cheat on the mashed potatoes. I was going to cut up some mashed potatoes and make them myself. I even thought about instant potatoes. But I bought some Bob Evans all natural potatoes. So when I complete the whole meal, I'll take a picture. Sunday dinner. All right, back cooking with Auntie Pella. All the food is ready. The mashed potatoes is done with a little gravy, some collard greens with turkey butts, some gravy on top of the meatloaf, and a nice big piece of sweet corn on the cob. Okay, you guys, you keep watching, keep cooking, let's share each other's food. Today is Sunday. Happy Sunday and happy eating. God bless. Bye-bye.